here again with Jason with another new car. Your car ADHD is worse than mine, I feel. No way. Close. Absolutely not. Close. No. But congrats on the M2CS. We took delivery of this. I came out and I was like, it was the middle of winter. Yeah. When did For you get this? Day after Christmas. The day after Christmas. Right. Oh, yes. Got the car in the snow, trailer to back, and now it's warm out. You're through break in. Tell us about your M2CS. It's a neat car. It's definitely a lot, a lot of fun. Uh, absolutely different driving experience than the M3, which is exactly what I was going for. Mm -hmm. um, it's a really exciting vehicle when it comes down to being in a smaller package. Uh, I've always been an M3 fan, as you know, and I've always wanted to have that, you know, M3 car. And then when they started getting bigger and I started getting on the racetrack, I quickly realized I wanted something smaller, a little bit more nimble, a little bit more peppy. One of the things I was worried about was this motor is a little toned down from the M3 CS, but it's also a much bigger car on that front end over with the M3. Uh, and you notice it a lot in this car. One of the things that's really interesting is, is this vehicle, extremely high strung. Um, the RPMs get up there and it wants to sit high, uh, which is good when you're on a track, you're getting a turn to keep the RPMs up, mm -hmm. but it gets, uh, Right there. Yeah. It gets a little interesting when you're driving it normal around the city and you down you downshift into second and you're you know you're running five thousand RPMs. Um, so it's an, it's definitely an interesting car, but I'm very very happy with my purchase. Um, it's not as flashy as your new toy. I'm a little no, envious man. of. But <laughs> you thought about it though. We can touch on that real quick. I did. So having so when I first met you it was the S4. Then I went to a regular F80 M3. Then the M3 CS. So top tier of the F80 generation M3. Love that car. San Marino blue. Yep. That was a great car. And then the replacement. You're all over the place. Anything from a. Boxster Spider, 718 Spider. Yes. To R8, to I briefly had you thinking about a GT350 R like mine. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Until I drove it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, you liked it. Oh, you were like, I didn't. The torque. I didn't like the. There was no low end. Yeah. Spider so coming out on M3. Yeah. Right. There's, I want a low end torquey car. That's. You're used to it. Yes. Um, you thought about Targa GTS or something like that, or what? It was just a regular GTS. A regular GTS. Yeah. And uh, then uh, Cayman GT4. Cayman GT4. This. Yes. A regular. F2, you literally were in the entire range. Right. So, what was the final thing that made you go, I want to order the M2CS? Um, really, where I was leaning towards was I, I want to learn how to drive on the track a lot more. And my biggest worry was cost. I just okay. was so worried about having a hundred thousand plus car yeah. on the track all the time, beating the heck out of it. Yeah. This car, uh, it's a little on the high end. Uh, <laughs> You're so pretty close. I'm pretty close. Color, yeah. But it, um, I, I, you know, I was really leaning towards going to an M2 and then building it up. But after I started running the numbers of what I wanted to do to an M2 comp, it was almost right there. And I figured, well, you know, maybe the resale value would be a little bit better if I go with the M2 CS. I had an open door and an opportunity to get one, and I just took it. So, um, yeah, I mean, there's part of me that I, I, I would love to have a really flashy car or something really cool, but, you know, being a dad, too, and yeah. having the two back seats pays off a little bit if we want to go get ice cream or, yeah. you know, have fun with the car. So, um, I try to keep it a little bit on the practical side, but <laughs> there's still a part of me that I really want that. It's going to be dangerous next week when I bring the R8 Yeah, out. <laughs> it's going to be really dangerous. I'm going to be looking at that and be like, oh, man, why but, didn't I get that? I mean, this car is good. So, compared directly to the M3 CS, how do you think, like better and worse? Where is it better, where is it worse? Um, better is it's a lot more nimble. Okay. You have a great view entry into corners. As you can tell, like this hood is a lot more sloped. It seemed like the M3 was a lot more elongated. Okay. So then when you go into a turn, it was really, it wasn't difficult to judge into your apexes, but on this car, you could really see down on your slope, which okay. you could catch the apexes great. And I'm a little bit of a, a of a late apexer, so that helps me when I drive. Um, I really, uh, what, one of the things that, that, that I really struggled with was when I ordered this car was I had carbon ceramics on the M3 CS mm -hmm. and I had an opportunity to go with carbon ceramics on this car. Um, I loved them, the stopping power was fantastic, but I was always worried that what happens if I get a stone in it? What yeah. if, I, you know, I, 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 yeah, do something stupid. And you know, that's a, that's a $25,000 bill on a set of four. I mean, granted that's not for just one, but yeah. I ended up going with the steel brakes on this and I'm extremely happy because what's interesting is, is they actually took the calipers off the 
M3 CS with the carbon fiber uh, carbon, ceramics. The carbon ceramics. Um, they took the carbon ceramic calipers and then they put those on this car with the oh, steel brakes. Okay. So this is basically the same brake setup as yeah. what I had on my car, but they're steel. It's a lot of like stealing parts from the Big Brother M3 M4. Yes. Adaptive dampers, S55 from the M3 Comp, carbon hood like the M3 CS. Yep. Like I showed uh, I showed one of my friends how to shut the hood and he like freaked out a little bit too. I'm like, nope, that's yeah. how you gotta shut the hood. Kind of normal. Slam. Yeah. So okay, so is there anything that's worse than the M3 CS? Um. Wow, that's a good question. Um, it's like just as fast. It, it really, feels it's, just as fast. It feels just as fast. I, you know, probably the thing that I'm just not used to is the high strong motor. Okay. It, it feels a lot different. Um, there was a guy that actually posted that says that, you know, I feel like my transmission is kangaroo, you know what I mean? I love that term <laughs> because it does do that sometimes. It gets it gets a little crazy, like yeah. right there. Oh, okay, yeah. It, it, it just wants to go through three different stages, yeah. like right out of the gate. And yeah. It gets a little confusing when you're behind it and you're not used to it, but it's it's starting to grow on me. So okay. uh, that's probably the, the the biggest difference or the thing that I'm a little sketchy on. But well, it sounds like pretty much unanimously you think this is the better car to have and as a driver's car than the M3 CS. Yes, this okay. is this is by far a much better driver car in my opinion. Now the only other thing that really I'll, I'll tell you the thing that irks me. I just figured it out. The exhaust. So yeah. the exhaust on my M3 CS was very poppy. Mm -hmm. uh, it was loud. It had a very deep tone. When you came off the gas, it gave you a little girl. Um, this car is fairly quiet, but when you have the um, the windows open, you'll get a little bit of a deep kind of like frogging tone, like you know, yeah. a little grunt, but it's not nearly as good as it's, the exhaust on that. M3. It's quite, that's the first thing I noticed. I'm like, this doesn't, I was looking for another exhaust valve button. I was like, I'm in full sport plus. Yeah. And I'm like, that's it. M2 button, I'm like, that's it. Just do a full muffler delete back there. Uh, I thought about it, but. You painted it black, thank you. Yes. Thank you so much. I did. It was so bad on delivery, and as soon as you pointed out the silver muffler, I was like, I cannot see it anymore. Yes, it was really, really bad. That, yeah. that was probably, that's the, big, the biggest defect in the sense of the look, but the M3 yeah. also had that. It didn't uh, seem to be as bad. I didn't remember noticing Well, the, the diffuser actually sits a little bit lower on okay. that car, so it's a little bit more pronounced on the back of this vehicle. Okay. Uh, but you know what it is what it is and and to be honest with you i think at, at some point where I'm, I'll, I'll be directly honest I, I feel that in a year or so i would probably end up putting an exhaust on this yeah. car uh wouldn't be surprised we'll go so then the last question i have is any regrets on getting this instead of the is that still a road here oh uh, it's, it's about to not be, not be. <laughs> um a 718 gt4 do you have any second thoughts on like, oh, maybe I should have gotten No, okay. I don't. Um, so, I really love the looks of the car. I love everything about the car. Yeah. I'm kind of setting up the... Why are we pinnacle. on not a road? What is this? Where are you taking me? So, they're actually, <laughs> uh, ironically, they shut down the road down the street. Oh, really? Yeah, they, they're they oh. digging a culvert. And then uh, this is... Holy cow. Yeah. Okay, anyways, yeah. Pavement. 718, so, sorry. Um, so, the 718, I, I really love the look of the car. I love everything about it. I think this is a more fun car to drive. Okay. Just because of the responsiveness, that's a low end torque. Yeah. I think I would get really, really bored about having a vehicle that you have to torque out like yeah. crazy. If I was tracking all the time, probably I'd lean a little bit more toward the Porsche. But, okay. Um, You're more occasional, like a weekend a month type of thing. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm I'm very very happy with this purchase. I love everything about this car. I'm happy you're happy. Yeah, it's awesome. It looks really good, especially with the new generations. You saw what they did to the two series. It's a front wheel drive based little Gran Turismo thing now. Yeah, it's it, it looks a little awkward. Um, a little awkward. I yeah. guess compared to the giant Katy girls and M3 looks a little awkward. So it was funny because I was at the dealership oh. when the break in was uh, happening for this yeah. car, and they actually had an M3, a brand new M3 comp there, and and. That, you know the sidelines of that car is just absolutely beautiful and I wasn't really a fan of the front end and the back end that kind of threw me off but um, there's some people that really like it but I, BMW does a funny thing with me all the time when they get really extreme on their designs yeah. I hate it at first and then it really starts to grow on me and okay. maybe I'm a little bit you know what? partial to BMW but what? I saw one and I saw it going down the road and I was like, yeah. oh, that looks kind of mean. No. <laughs> it looks kind of mean. No. <laughs> no. It was interesting. I love the way this car looks. I think yes. it's one of the best looking M cars. <laughs> and one of my favorite driving so far, and I'm, I'm like 
you need to get out on the track and tell me what it's like, or I need to ride with you on the track. But in the short amount of time, this E92 M3, E39 M5 are some of my favorites. And yeah, this is better to drive than the M3 CS. Now to own, if you're not tracking all the time, I feel like the M3 CS was a little bit more of the, like it's, I think it was just a sound. I think it's really the sound. Yeah, the sound was pretty exciting in that yeah. car, but uh, when you're throwing that car around in turns, it's big. It's big. You can I feel mean, the big. You yeah, felt the it. The wheelbase like, is a bit longer. Yeah, this is much more compact. Like this car is very, very nimble. I, yeah. I love, uh, I, I love the responsiveness of the, of the steering. Yeah. And. You know, the other thing is, is I, I kind of look back and if I was to do it all over again, would I buy a manual? That, that's like, that was Ooh, like, that was like that my big, big question. One. And there's now part of me that says, oh man, did I make a mistake? I probably should have gone with a manual. Okay. Um, I kind of miss the clutch and, okay. you know, the, the fun of driving. Yeah. But I am also, and I'll be the first one to admit it, probably on YouTube. I screw up when I'm on a track with a, with a manual. Too many and, things to figure And out. I have dropped clutches and done the money shift oh okay and, I, and when i first started driving yeah. i have this con this terrible fear yeah of dropping in second going into a turn because yep. i lean my body and and i've done it and i've okay. blown a transmission i did it in an acura okay gs uh integra gs right yeah. after i got it smoked it oh so i'm uh i'm a little i was really hesitant about you know doing all that kind of thinking and the working yep. and i'm just I'm not a very good coordinated person. Okay. And maybe I feel a little guilty that I maybe I should take that that position and try to learn from it a little bit. Um, and I didn't do it, so. Yeah, well, you, you, it's, I, still enough respect that you are gonna track this car and you have tracked your M3CS before and everything like that and your M, like, that's fine. You know it, whatever. I, and the only thing I'll say in support of that too is I don't love BMW manuals. They feel a little more rubbery, especially compared to like Porsche manuals and stuff like that. Well, and and I'm really glad you said that because that was probably one of the biggest complaints that's online is a lot of guys were, were really complaining about that rubbery aspect. But yeah. there's also the iDrive supposedly is getting in the way of the the, the, <laughs> six, the six gear shift. Oh, okay. And a lot of guys are hitting it and it's like <laughs> hanging up on people when they're on the phone. It's so funny. You know, <laughs> first world problems. Flawed. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I still don't get why they like carbon hood, carbon roof, everything, no center console, heated seats. Yes. Weight savings, weight savings, weight savings, weight addition. So it's I, like I love the heated seats though. I'm yeah, but if you're gonna guilty. go all hardcore the CS, just all like right, it should right. be ditch all of it. It's all hardcore. No, no, I'm kidding. Well, but yeah. And you got power seats. And... You do have power seats too, but yeah. I mean, uh, otherwise, yeah. This is this is probably one of my favorite M cars I've driven. One of the. Uh, yeah, and it's 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 a great package. I mean, it's it's nimble, it's small, yeah. and I will call you out. I do fit in that back seat. No, you do I, not. Hundred percent. No, we, when we get to where with, we're going, I'm getting in the back seat. With the adult, with the seat in front, yes. set for the adult. I, I, no, I will set the seat exactly where yes. I'm at, and I will get in the back seat. And you guarantee you. I'll and you can set up straight. Yes, I can set up well, straight. Well, you're 100%. like vertically challenged. You're like five. Five eleven, guy. Five eleven. Oh my god. Heart doesn't start with a six. It doesn't count. Uh, <laughs> I'd love to watch you shoehorn yourself into your little R8. I fit very comfortably in my R8. Yeah. A Lotus Elise, on the other hand, I had to crawl out of my hands and knees. I have problems with that car, too. So. Yeah. I watched it, and I was just in his Apha's Performante, and because of the spider. <laughs> yeah. Like, if I sit all the way up, like, my head is coming above the roof. I was like, ah. Uh, yeah, it doesn't uh, doesn't work out well. That's well, funny. with that, we'll conclude the what it's like to own an M2CS. We'll do another follow-up on this once you've gotten some more time to track it. Yeah, we'll tracking in two weeks. Stuff. Yes, that's at uh, Gingerman, Gingerman Raceway. Raceway. You'll have fun. I think I'm going to Naples for that weekend. Oh, you're going to uh, miss out, man. I know. I need to, I'm, I'm taking the Shelby to Audubon probably sometime in June. I have a friend who's a member and he invited me. So, yeah. What a great time. Yeah, cars are fun. Well, let's, let's hope COVID keeps us all uh, running this year and we can get out, get some cars and coffees. We yes. can do some oh, fun, sure. fun events. And oh, I'm sure. We'll do plenty of stuff. Maybe we'll get cars. Woodward Dream Cruise kicking. I want to go to Car Week again, Monterey. That's always my go-to. Oh. You want to go to Monterey Car Week? When is it? Uh, 3rd week of August. Ooh. There's an idea. We'll chat later. Anyways. <laughs> With that, make sure you check out the M3 CS videos we did together. I don't think we ever filmed the first M3. Regard we did not. No, uh, regardless, the M3 CS, I really like that car. It looked awesome. It drove well. This is next level. We'll follow up with more videos. Thanks for watching.